So who do we think had the better World Cup leading up to the final? I think um, I'm from South Africa, but they are. Um, I think uh, England at the moment have the upper hand um, after beating New Zealand in the semi-final. So I just think at the moment they have the momentum. But I think as the box with the um, mentality, they always like the underdog um, tag. So I think um, it's still going to be a good game on Saturday. Um, I think, but at the moment, I think England has the upper hand. But yeah, obviously the box like the underdog tag. Yeah, it's interesting speaking on the underdog tag because I think England went into probably the New Zealand game as underdogs, but they came up the box really firing. Um, so their whole World Cup, they've actually been pretty uh, clinical. Maybe it's like I mean USA, they put they put quite a lot of points on. They've had they've had some good games going up to in the first what they scored in the first three minutes of the, of the New Zealand game. So and they were as underdogs. So probably be interesting to see them going into the final. Obviously South Africa Wales wasn't the prettiest game. England are kind of going into his favourites, seeing how they handle that kind of pressure or that mentality. Yeah, good point. Obviously, I think England is playing the conditions very well. So I think um, on Saturday, I think the team that's going to make the least of the least mistakes are going to be the team that's going to win it because I think um, with the conditions in the moment at the moment in Japan, I think it's uh, the after team that makes the most after uh, least mistakes, uh, the least mistakes that's going to win the game. I think uh, stereotypically, probably before the New Zealand game, you'd have to say the, the South African guys are big, big bruising, bruising pack of forwards. Um, I think the Wales guys afterwards said, that, oh, the Japs, sorry, the Japanese um, forwards were saying how much they just got physically battered, even though Japan for the first half they hung in there a lot. So, you know, the South African forward packers have got a good reputation behind them. But then, then again, I think England had to win the set piece battle against New Zealand. Stop them having the, such good counter attack, such good ball, and I think the forwards in the, New Ze uh, in the New Zealand game really stepped up and actually gave themselves a bit, bit of a better reputation. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a good battle forwards-wise. Yeah, no, I must agree. I think um, England stepped up in the New Zealand game. So yeah, but I think South Africa is known for their forwards. So I think on Saturday it's gonna be a big battle. Um, yeah, what do you think between the, the battle between the the eights on Saturday? Yeah, I'd, obviously, Billy Vinopolo is a big part of that uh, English pack. It gives them a lot of momentum, um, gives them a lot of physicality. But then again, Dwayne on a good day, he's you know he's not Dwayne for Milan, the thundering Thor for nothing. So you know if he can pitch up in the right mentality, uh, it'll make for a, a spectacle. But then again, they've, the difference is probably being England have two. Um, really hard working flankers, shorter guys that are really put into big shots. Where South Africa have some probably I'd probably say more all rounders. Peter Steph the toy got an engine on him like can't believe he just never stops. But he's obviously taller line up forward but he can carry, he can make the shots. Sia Khaleesi, obviously a charismatic leader that he is, plays a completely different role. So the the makeup of the South African three versus the makeup of the English three is different, which obviously makes the, the match interesting if you if you're inclined to watch those kinds of makeups. Yeah, no, definitely. I think um, you will probably see the English Lucy's playing more to the ball, and where the South African, I think both Lucy's are more ball carrying type of Lucy's. And I think with Peter Sefetoy, it's almost almost like a third lock you have on the field. So I think the makeup of the Lucy's is obviously of the loose forwards are completely different. But I think on Saturday. I think the set, set piece battle is going to be massive. So, yeah, whichever team wins the set piece battle is also going to dominate the game. So, I think on Saturday that's going to be a good matchup between the two teams. Predictions. 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 Yeah, obviously, um, I'll be based in the England camp. Um, we've got some Chiefs guys there, so hoping that they'll come away with a win. Um, probably, we'll make. Well, I think there'll be a lot of penalty kicks, um, tries wise, not so sure, so we're going to stick with the score of about 17-14 in favour of England. I'm obviously from South Africa, um, I'm also backing the boys from Exeter playing for the England squad, um, but I'm backing South Africa on this one. Uh, we'll go for a score of 24-15 for South Africa.